All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, Javier is here again with me, my guy. Again, I'm building the same exact car that Javier has. It's an E30 with the beams. Today, we're gonna go after the wiring. Way more excited. Cheers. AK Integrated Auto Works has been one of our big partners on this build and they make a ton of parts for the beams into the E30. We already installed the engine and transmission into the car with their kit paired with some Condor Speed Shop bushings. The other thing that they make for this is the wiring kit in order to make this pretty much a plug and play setup. There's not a lot of wiring you have to do on your own. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can on this. So in this episode, we're gonna show you kind of how to install the AK kit. I'm still waiting on one more wire to come in. Casey and I have been going back and forth on ways to like upgrade the kit and make it a little bit better. So one of the things that we're gonna do is throw in the wire to get a temperature gauge reading on your dash. The kit has like a built-in fan switch and stuff that you can wire in yourself. It actually leaves the extra wires there for you. And then it can be like thermal switched with your ECU and all that. But I like to see the temperature on my dash. So I asked him if we can install that wire and he actually figured it out. So it's gonna be a simple like plug-in. You guys won't have to go through this. It should be in your kit already. It'll just be a lead that's hanging off. You can either use it or not use it. But for this kit, I'll have to install it. And then after we install that wire, we'll have to find a location for that temperature sensor. With that being said, one of the things we are trying to do with this engine bay is make it look pretty clean. We just installed the Condor um, HVAC panel delete plate. I don't know what that thing's exactly called. So we installed the delete panel already there from Condor Speed Shop. I painted it to match the engine bay, which is the gloss black. As you can see, it has a really good like mirror finish. And then we also mounted the bracket for the E30 harness. So this is on here now, and now we can kind of get that going. So when we plug in the AK stuff, it can look pretty clean. But there's a bunch of wires that are hanging around. The one thing I really don't like about the beams is that the harness comes right off the front side of the engine. This big, ugly, black, bulky, or uh, gray rather. I'm gonna end up cutting that off and then I bought this harness stuff on Amazon, which I have not opened yet, but it's like a uh, split sleeve setup. We're gonna wrap a bunch of wires in the engine bay and on the engine harness in order to make them look a little cleaner, a little bit more like the AK setup. It's split so that we don't have to feed all the wires through it. We can kind of just flare it open, wrap them, and then we're good to go all right so when you open the fuse box this is what it's going to look like on the inside uh the plug side for the ecu is going to go toward the radiator the other side is going to go up toward the firewall but one thing that i wanted to try to do some type of upgrade if you will was ak sends out with their kit these little brackets i don't really like the style of these i don't like the look of them so i didn't want to use those uh, they also sent out the hardware with it too but what i went ahead with was these spacers uh, so the fuse box is going to have a rubber mat underneath it and then this is going to uh pretty much be little standoffs so that the fuse box can sit on up on the fender well uh, and then we don't have to have like these brackets and extra bolts and stuff we'll just do one long through bolt straight through the wheel well up into the fuse box and then it'll be mounted so let's get this into the engine bay map out where it's gonna go, and then I'll start uh, drilling some holes. So that goes on there like such. And now we have like a soft isolator. So we'll throw some bolts through the bottom to make sure we got this going the right way. Pretty much like that. Throw those bolts in there and then we're good to go. I just gotta tighten it down and you're good to go. So now that the fuse box is mounted, I'll eventually like cut these studs down. Maybe not, maybe never, who knows. Um, again, you gotta have your plug sides going toward your uh, ECU. And then the other sides, you gotta get running toward your battery power, toward your engine, and then toward this uh, plug here. Which again, I still haven't figured out what that plug's called. But now that these wires are coming back here, so you got a power wire that's gonna come over here and plug in. Ground wire that's gonna go to your valve cover. Uh, or the back of your motor somewhere. And then I think there's another ground wire here that we can plug in the harness directly to the BMW setup now, just like such. Screw it in. 
Make sure that's good. And voila. Now your AK harness is plugged in. This is the O2 sensor. It's just gonna kinda hang out right there because she'll be headed down that direction. Most of these are self-explanatory. So this wire here is gonna be a ground. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and just throw this straight onto the factory ground that's right here in the fender wheel. There's already some ground wires coming to it. And then as far as the ECU's concerned, you're gonna have a couple of wires coming off of this that you're gonna use and a couple that aren't. So some of you guys are gonna have a box for your beams and the box is gonna have a bunch of extra plugs and like even one that marries them. I had to order one because I didn't. my motor didn't come with one. AK had one laying around so they're, they were able to send me one so we can keep moving forward. It's not gonna be here for a couple of days so we'll get as far as we can with this for now. But essentially you're gonna take the AK harness now. You got these two white plugs. These are gonna plug into your ECU. This one is one of them. Boom, should be this one, there it is. Bada boom. So now the ECU is plugged in and then when we come over here to the beams harness itself, blue one's gonna go into this connector here and then you'll have this bigger one here that will take the silver one or the gray one. And then this is the plug that I do not have. So you're gonna run into this where you have two males or uh, two female plugs. There's a male joiner in the center that will turn uh, both of these and connect them both together. I don't have that. And then for this plug, extra plug here with the blue cap on it, I can take it off just to show you. So on the inside there, you can see that those are all just jumpers. So you gotta leave that boy plugged in. You don't wanna mess with that. So now this side is pretty much done. We just gotta hook up the ground and then hook up those last two plugs. And then your beams is plugged into your AK harness. So now that this is all exposed, we can get a measurement off of it and we'll probably stop the loom in a similar spot. Maybe right around this area here, this black piece of tape. So what we'll do for now is we'll unplug all of this so we can work with this loom a little bit easier. All right, so as I'm still cons uh, consolidating and wrapping up this, Javier's hooking up the other side of the AK harness. So I took that C101 ground and ran it to the uh, hood prop section, which I'll eventually move it, but maybe I won't, and I'll just leave it there. You have a ground coming out that you're going to want to hook up to your valve cover, which I know seems like an odd spot. Just trust us on this one. That's where it goes. The last wire you're gonna have, which we ran out of a little bit of uh, red wire there, the red big wire, so we had to run a big black one in there. Uh, that's gonna go over to your power section there on your stock E30 chassis. So you're gonna hook that up over there. And then after everything's plugged in, it should fire. Then we took the power wire from the BMW fuse box and the AK kit, and we ended up running them all together in that one loom over to the uh, power supply. Now, when you look at the back side of this motor in the wiring situation, it's pretty damn clean. The only other two things that are gonna be running back that way are gonna be our fuel lines. It's our feed and then our return that's gonna come off of our radium setup. Uh, then I took the OEM BMW wire and uh, took it apart. You can kind of see it down there. Yeah, so right there, 
And I uh, took the BMW cable and I put the end on it there from the OEM BMW 2, hooked it back up the starter. So, in theory, we could fire this thing up. We can crank it. In theory, we could crank this thing up. Let's head into the dash because there's a couple of things you gotta unplug and plug back and I'll show you those, especially if your car's an automatic. So you gotta go under your dash. And you gotta find this black wire here. Okay, hold up, hold you understand? Up, there's a black wire with a yellow line in it. You understand, son? Then there is a, another plug. It looks like, well, hell, it don't look like it's here. This wire here from the back of this plug and unplug it. Then you gotta take one of these blacks and white, black and yellow wires. You take that black and yellow wire plug that in there and then uh should be good good crank so let's see if we can get it to crank now uh the battery's dead in here but do i have a product to share with you guys hashtag not mad it's just really good this is the scotch jump starter with flashlight saved my butt a few times scotch makes awesome products uh this is one of them so it's a flashlight hold it long enough there it is. Boom. Ah! So I can see what I need to work on. And I'm like, yo, save the battery because we need to jump this. Plug this jumper box into here. It'll do the wee woo wee woo thing right there. And then once you plug it in, it'll go green and say start. And you're ready to crank the car. So let's see if we can get these beams to start. This battery is completely dead. We just detected it. We're sitting there trying to test it at AutoZone. I'm like, man, we don't know if it's any good. And the guy goes, oh, it was on the machine. And it blink. The machine was flashing. I was like, what does that mean? He's like, means the battery is bad. It's like, why don't you just say that? <laughs> uh, so now I see the green lights on, it says start. Now let's see if it'll actually do anything. If my calculations are correct, there's no drive shaft in this, so that didn't matter. Step two, let's see if we can get this little bad boy to crank. <laughs> first try, boys. First, that was first try. Sorry. Is that first try? Yeah. First try. Let me call Hannah real quick because I want her to see this. Hannah! Come here real quick. I want to show you something. Stop asking what to support your husband, dude. Dang. Because I feel like I don't support you. I know, but listen to this. Yeah, buddy. It cranks. Let's go. High five. Appreciate your help. You've been awesome on this build. Oh, thanks. Uh, Every time, every time, she's always here, every time. So now it cranks. So that's how like simple it is. Once we get the other plug, we can plug in the ECU completely. We'll drain all the oil out of it, fill it back up, make sure the level's nice and good. I don't even, oh, the dipstick's on the front of the motor. Get the transmission full. Um, and in the next video, we should be firing up, but that's literally how simple the AK kit is. Once those other plugs are plugged in, I believe it'll start priming our fuel pump as long as our fuel pump is good. Dude, other than that, the thing's cranking and doing everything it's supposed to. So I'm excited, dude. Cranking is like, cranking's a big deal because once it's cranking and we get that other plug, once you hear it fire, once you hear the car start for the first time, you start just going to town the rest of the car. It's one of the things I always tell my buddies, like, dude, just fire it up. Like one time, just fire it up for that extra like little tip over the motivation hill. It gets you pumped up. It gets you stoked. It gets you excited. So that's exactly how I feel right now. And I can't wait to get this car done and driving it's cranking boys i'm stoked i'm excited javier thank you dude thank you so much for watching uh if you're down share us with your homies tell them that we're building a beams motor if you're downer than that we'll leave a like because it helps us if you're a downer ass fool then subscribe see you in the next one boys stay safe all right guys, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel in another way, you can head to holdfast-usa.com, buy anything on the website, it helps us keep this content coming to you. Huge thanks to the sponsors as well who support all these different series that we wanna bring you guys. Give them a follow, give them a like, tell them Mike sent you. As always, boys, stay safe.